Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today we're going to be doing Sayu Tango. Yuhu Art. Saicho no Jutsu. Is that Sayu? What's she doing running around here? Let's go follow her. Maybe we can find out what's going on. She's nowhere to be seen. We saw her only a moment ago. She couldn't have gone too far. Perhaps she's using her ninjutsu skills to hide. Hmm. Let's have a look around the area. This appears to be just an ordinary pile of junk. Someone will likely come by to clean it up soon. There doesn't seem to be anything of particular interest here. Let's go have a look somewhere else. Nope, she doesn't seem to be around here. <laughs> There's a leaf on this one, and a tail. Hmm, what's that strange looking thing? And struggles to find me. Well, if your tail wasn't sticking out. Huh? My tail was sticking out? <sighs> I must have been too nervous and failed to fully utilize my ninjutsu technique. So, uh, what do you need? Mmm. I was about to ask you the same thing. I heard that Shimmer has added a delicious new dish to their menu. And Yai Publishing House has some good light novels. Oh, and the dip in Isa Bathhouse is always nice. So, uh, you know, today's weather is perfect for all that stuff. So, what can I do for you? What's the real reason? N no, really, I'm not up to anything. I'm just a little tired and thought I could use a good nap. <sighs> I'll be going now. D don't bother chasing me again. You won't be able to catch me anyway. I suppose I'll just have a chat with the Shrine Maiden then. Oh no, anything but that. <sighs> You're just as difficult as the Shrine Maiden. Come on, just let me go, would you? Then I expect you to answer honestly. Oh, fine. But if I tell you the truth, I don't want to hear any complaints, no matter how crazy the truth may seem. So, you know I'm in the Shumatsuban, right? Well, it's our job to take care of matters that are inconvenient to the higher-ups, which sometimes includes ambushing people. I see. Am I a target? Go on. Huh? Doesn't that intimidate you even a little bit? You do know what that means, right? And still no reaction, huh? Don't tell me it's because of my height. <sighs> anyway, being ambushed is pretty scary. You should at least try to express a little concern. But I'm not your target, right? Uh, actually... According to my orders, you are. Though I have no intention of really attacking you. I don't get it. They never assign me this kind of mission. There's loads of other suitable operatives. <sighs> oh 
this craziness is starting to interfere with my sleep schedule. I just dropped by to see how you were doing. I was glad to see that you're okay. But why all the running? And what's with all those lame-ass excuses just now? I was worried about how you'd react. I mean, who knows what you'd do if you knew that I was out to ambush you. Yet, when I told you, you didn't so much as flinch. I guess that actually made me feel a lot better. Well, you were a great help to us before. What's really concerning is whatever's behind these orders of yours. Who do you want to talk to? Someone in the Yashiro Commission? Who is the Shrine Maiden you mentioned earlier? She's the one who's been assigned to supervise my work. She always tries to catch me whenever I'm slacking off. Basically, it's her duty to keep me from napping. But... She would probably know more about the origins of my mission. Then let's go ask her about it. Fine. I'll take you to her. But I'll have to hide somewhere in the distance. If she catches me anywhere near there, I'll never hear the end of it. And then they'll sentence me to all kinds of work, which will really cut into my time for napping. Don't worry, I understand. Let's go. Please, she's quite perceptive. You mustn't tell her that you've seen me anywhere. You got that? We have a deal. No word about me. Hmm. Somebody wants me assassinated, huh? Shine down. Can't say I'm surprised. Uh, where has she run off to this time? Huh? I didn't expect to see you here. You're the traveler, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. Do you know me? Yes, Miss Kamisato has spoken of you before. You seem familiar. It appears my intuitions were correct. May I ask what brings you here? I have to be in the area. Do you come here often? It just so happens I'm looking for a little child by the name of Sayu. She's a ninja, with a nasty habit of disappearing the moment I turn around. <sighs> she's always neglectful of her duties. She often comes here to take a nap, but it seems she's already predicted that I would come looking for her. You haven't happened to see her anywhere, have you? She's wearing a Mojina costume. Pretty hard to miss. <clears throat> no. Really? Well then, I suppose I'll just have to keep searching for her. By the way, I've caught word that the Yashiro Commission has supposedly dispatched someone to ambush me. Oh? How could that be? How did you catch wind of this? Did you encounter the ninja tasked with the matter? Someone informed me that this might be happening. I've been on my guard. Huh. Well, I'm sure there's no need to worry. You're probably just overthinking things. After all, you have been of great service to the Yashiro Commission, and many are thankful for your actions. How could anyone even consider dispatching a ninja to attack you? Is it possible that a ninja could have gone rogue? You know, a ninja like Sayu? Like Sayu? You mean to say that this matter is related to Sayu? No, not at all. I'm just making an example. That's all. There's absolutely no need to worry about Sayu. If anything, she's extremely loyal and would never act presumptuously. Though she often neglects her duties as a ninja and seems to never heed instructions, She's certainly not one to go against our principles. Given her age, such portentous tasks are not assigned to her. Of course, so you wouldn't hurt me. What's the matter? Are you still worried? All right, just to be sure, I shall personally inquire about this matter with the Yashiro Commission. Though I am the Shrine Maiden, it is also part of my duties to take on work from the Shumatsuban. While you are making inquiries, I shall continue investigation of my own. Uh, thank you, that would certainly help. I'll be sure to look into it. I'm curious myself what could be the cause of such absurd rumors. 
My intuition tells me that Sai's mischief might be behind this whole misunderstanding. Are you completely certain that you haven't seen her around recently? Yes, absolutely certain. Huh? Aha! Sayu, I can see you! Come out from there! Don't tell me she left her tail sticking out again. Don't even think about trying to sneak away! Come over here! This instant! She walked up gloomily. Hmm... It does appear that Sayu has really been given a mission to ambush you. Which wasn't assigned by me, of course. I apologize. I'm afraid I did not treat this matter with due sincerity. I shall take these orders back to the Yashiro Commission for further clarification. Good. <sighs> well, if there's nothing left for me to do, then I'll be... Ahem. Sayu! Oh, uh, yes? Where do you think you're off to? You have ninjutsu training to complete, so you shall return with me to Chinju Forest. Yes, but you know, an exceptional ninja must not only work hard, but also have ample rest. <sighs> it happens to be time for my nap, so I'll see you next time. Goodbye and good night. You're coming with me, even if I have to carry you, Sayu. Is that what you want? Oh, no need. I'm sorry. I'll come quietly. In which case... Traveler, will you come with us too? Why? I promise there won't be any trouble. I need a bit of your time, that's all. I helped you by bringing you to the Shrine Maiden, so now you need to return to favor. Uh, good thing we didn't have any other plans. <sighs> I honestly hope you're not up to something again, Sayu. <sighs> We've arrived. All right. I will go to the Yashiro Commission now to inquire about Sayu's mission orders. In the meantime, please keep an eye on her. Sayu, you can start by warming up. Though you may often be difficult for me, I certainly will not abide any trouble for the Traveler. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Good. She's gone. Phew. No more work for today. <laughs> so that's why you wanted me to come along. To help you slack off. Actually, I invited you to come as a helper. No need to go into too much detail. The Shrine Maiden is terrifying. As soon as she picks up on my tracks, it's nearly impossible for me to shake her. But you're also super skilled, so maybe you can help me. I don't think I should be doing this kind of thing. Huh? You mean you won't rescue someone in a moment of dire need? All that goes on here is cruel and involuntary labor. Is it wrong to wish for ample rest? How else can I ever reach my growth spurt? I'm not being unreasonable. I've been meaning to ask you, why are you so obsessed with sleeping all the time? Don't you know? There are tons of benefits to sleeping. You can regain energy, clear your mind, pass the time, and escape from all your troubles. But most importantly, sleep helps you grow, and I've got plenty of growing to do. Growing? That's right. The other ninja can leap up tall trees in a single bound and pick the tasty fruit way up high. Being tall is the key to everything. All the other ninja my age are already way taller than me. Sensei told me that kids only have one chance to grow up, and that I'll miss my chance if I keep slacking off. But is growing taller really related to how long you sleep? Of course it is. Haven't you seen someone suddenly grow taller while they're sleeping? I've never seen anyone grow when they're asleep. It happens all the time. Though, I guess it does sound silly when you think about it. Ugh, never mind. The longer I talk to you, the more you'll convince me otherwise. Besides, what's wrong with wanting a little more sleep? See? I'm already crazy tired. 
I can see that you're tired, but it's not good to neglect your work either. Yeah, I suppose I haven't kept up with my duties. I'm sorry, but... Uh, I really am getting sleepy. Seems you aren't taking the matter to heart at all. It's because my work is just too boring. Transporting documents, organizing the ninja tools... As long as I don't do the work, no one will come asking me to do it again. The higher-ups always give all the important tasks to more suitable operatives. They never even give me a second thought. You should try to at least keep your sensei and Kano Nana from worrying. Hmm... Now that you say that, I just had an idea. If you learn ninjutsu and help me with my tasks, then I can sleep peacefully and focus more on growing. You still haven't taken anything I've said to hurt. Ninjutsu will come in super handy during your adventures. Don't worry, I'll personally teach you everything. If you work hard, then I'll work hard to teach you. See? This way, nobody's wasting time being lazy. <laughs> Fine, if that's what we have to do. Thank you so much. See? You're the hero that protects Saya's nap time. We can start training as soon as the Shrine Maiden gets back. After a while, she returns. Oh, I'm honestly surprised to see you still here, Sayu. Unless... Is this some sort of trick? <sighs> the Traveler is interested in ninjutsu and wants to learn together. Is that so? Though it is strictly forbidden for some techniques to be taught to outsiders. But I suppose you are an exception in this case. Did you find out more about the ambush thing? Indeed, I did. I was able to determine that the Yashiro Commission had no intent of carrying out such a mission. They are now investigating the origins of these orders. Rest assured, the related personnel are all aware of the situation, and there should be no further threats to your safety. Good to hear. Well then, let us begin your ninjutsu training. Please follow us. Hmm. I'll show you my favorite skill to practice. Basically, it's an escape technique. I use it to make a quick getaway whenever the Shrine Maid is after me. <sighs> All right, Sayu. Just leave the explanation to me. This is a technique to help ninja train their agility. When the unpredictable happens during a mission, ninja must be capable of traversing a variety of terrains. During our training, we often set up obstacles on both sides of this stream and have Sayu make her way up the course. I often slipped when I was little and either found myself falling face first into the mud or getting battered as I tumbled down. So don't underestimate this little course of ours. It's not as easy as you think. Sayu may be exaggerating a little. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure you'll do fine. Yeah, go ahead and give it a try. <sighs> I'll guide you through it. Nice try, Sayu. You'll run the course first. Quickly now. Uh... Come now, no stalling. Give the Traveler a proper demonstration. All right, all right. Leave it to me. She goes upstream and reaches destination. Although Sayu doesn't usually exert her best effort, she does have strong ninja fundamentals. Do your best. I'll be waiting at the finish. Okay, don't get hit. Got it. Oh, I got hit. I guess getting hit don't matter, huh? Well, impressive. You really got some talent. If I were to rate your performance, I'd say you're like a strong, fast Mujina. Anyway, nicely done. I was rooting for you. Why are you talking so different all of a sudden? <laughs> Don't mind me. I just 
happen to remember the words of my sensei. After each training session, sensei would give me a score and encourage me based on my results. Huh. I'm surprised you remember your sensei's words so clearly, Sayu. <laughs> but don't you think your sensei would disapprove of you copying their words? <laughs> no way. Sensei wouldn't be mad at all. Where is your sensei now? Have they already left these lands? Yep. Sensei said there were some important matters to attend to. Sensei told me that they hoped I would become a responsible ninja while they are away. You know, the kind of ninja everyone can trust. You remember your sensei's words, but you sure don't seem to act on them, skipping work all the time. Hey, I work hard. <sighs> when I'm not sleepy. It's just that this season is perfect for napping. I really can't help it. <sighs> the problem is that to you, every season is perfect for napping. Anyway, you've certainly handled the training well so far. The next exercise is live combat training. Let's go, shall we? Considering that you have yet to grasp the art of ninjutsu, we'll let Sayu demonstrate in combat first. And this will be a prime opportunity for you to see her ninjutsu firsthand. Sure thing. Just leave it to me. <clears throat> Let my example illuminate your path to ninjutsu. <sighs> there you go again, Sayu. You know, imitating what other people say is a poor habit. Sorry. <laughs> Probably faster to go south from here. Here we are. Now, please carefully observe Sayu's skills in combat. I'll do my best to make my ninjutsu a little easier to understand. Can't catch me! Make my escape! Dirty. <sighs> so, did you pay close attention to my ninjutsu? Here, I'll teach you. First, you stretch your upper body a bit, do a little wiggle, and then turn yourself into a ball, like this. No need to rush. Huh? What's the matter? You don't want to transform into a ball? Don't worry, you might feel a little dizzy at first, but you'll get used to it. I don't think this technique is as easy as it looks. I thought you'd be able to catch on after seeing a quick demonstration. <sighs> anyway, I'm beat and need a good nap now. Hopefully I won't need to demonstrate that again. Can you say you would show me the past ninjutsu? Yeah, that was my sensei's way of teaching. Very strong and patient. Which is a little too much work for me. Really starting to wonder what kind of person your sensei was. Strong, responsible, and kind. Sensei never pushed me to do more work. Uh... Actually, after hearing myself say that, I suppose sensei was a lot like you. Although you don't know ninjutsu like Sensei did, your other qualities are enough to make you my Sensei. He was also a ninja? Did they go by a special name? Sure. Sensei's name was... Uh... What was it now? 
Huh? I guess I never asked. I just called them Sensei. I think Sensei was a ninja. Actually, Sensei never really mentioned it. Okay, how about some other qualities, like their height? Sensei's height... Hmm... They were taller than me. As for other qualities... Seems there was a lot you didn't know about him. Sometimes it's hard to tell from just appearances. But these details don't matter to me. Alright, that's enough idle chatter for now. If Sayu Sensei ever returns, I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet. As for our next exercise... Uh, wait! I'm not quite up to it yet. <sighs> I need to take a break first. We agreed on a break after every two exercises, didn't we? Remember? To keep training from being too forceful. Fine. Even if I did push you, I suppose you would end up napping on the field anyway. Go, have a rest. I shall wait for you here. Remember, no running off. Got it. Come with me, traveler. I'll take you to a nice place to relax a bit. Phew. Finally, time for a break. <laughs> no running off. Things pretty far from where we were. Just as I thought, exactly the same as before. What is the rope they're used for? Sensei knew that I was concerned about my height, so before leaving, Sensei measured my height and used the rope to mark it on the tree over there. Nothing is more satisfying than growing. At least, that's what Sensei told me. But even after all this time, not only have I yet to outgrow the rope, I think the rope is getting higher with the tree. <sighs> Maybe it's because I'm not sleeping enough. It's normal for trees to grow taller than people. I get it. And that's exactly what I told Sensei at the time. But Sensei only laughed, though they didn't scold me at all. I guess Sensei had their own way of looking at things. I really couldn't tell what Sensei was thinking in moments like that. Do you have any idea what Sensei might have meant? I think I have an idea, but it is just a guess. That's okay, just say it. Either way, I'm sure you understand more than me. All trees will grow sooner or later. Grow? Hmm, I think I understand now. I love to take naps under a tree, or hide in the shade, or eat some of its fruit. This is how the tree provides for me. I believe your sensei hoped that one day you would provide for someone in the same way. I see. Okay, just wait here. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Peace. Fetch his fruits in return. These fruits are for you. I think you're taking this a little too literal. No, no. I get it now. Uh, how should I put it? Sometimes I think that the Shumatsuban is more trouble than it's worth. Everyone's trying to keep me from getting enough sleep and growing taller. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother sticking around with them. But every time I think about it, I can't help but remember Sensei's smile. And then I think of this tree and my vision. Someday, this tree will also be shelter for a kitsune, or some other animal. In the same way, someday, after I've grown nice and tall, I'll be protecting someone with my ninjutsu. Which is exactly why you should take your work more seriously. I know. <sighs> Sorry. I guess I was hoping that I'd grow faster, and then I could work hard. But it seems that I've already spent too much time trying to grow. If I gave up my dreams of growing tall, could I still fulfill everyone's hopes? 
I've always avoided asking myself this question. It just makes me feel a little nervous. And... I've yet to find an answer. I still don't know what to do. <sighs> I don't even know what I actually can do. But I thought that at least I can give you some fruit to eat. <laughs> you remind me of Sensei. You're kind and can even understand what Sensei was thinking. So I thought I should at least show a little bit of enthusiasm. You can call me Sensei if you like. Huh? But wasn't I the one teaching you ninjutsu just now? Although, I'm sure you know a lot more about life than me. So I guess you could still count as my teacher in that regard. Why don't we just relax for now? We're supposed to be taking a break, remember? Oh yeah, you're right. <sighs> I was getting a little carried away. Why don't we go practice a little more ninjutsu after our break is up? Today is one of those rare days when I feel super motivated. But never mind that for now. We've got lots of fruit to eat. Come on, take whichever you like. <laughs> okay, that was with the trees. You can somewhat understand her feelings. Someday, she'll be able to live up to all the expectations on her. If you've watched this, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have wonderful lives. Peace.